clap your hands and sing along with me How do you do, everybody, how do you do? How do you do, everybody, how do you do? Oh, you come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run how Hello everybody, everybody? my name is Teacher do? Pippa and welcome to the Little Gym at Home Today's episode is our way of saying thank you to our everyday heroes and our frontline workers, just like our firefighters, our police officers, and even our doctors and nurses. But before we go to work and help them out today, we better get warmed up. Come on, everybody. We got to run in a circle, run in a circle, run in a circle, run. I'll be down in a minute. Go get a sofa cushion to help me land on it. I'll help you practice some doctor helicopter jumps. Go, go, go. Wow, did you guys see that I landed on my two feet? You know, us doctors, we need to use these helicopters to get around places really quickly. Do you want to practice jumping with me? Well, get that sofa cushion that I said. And if you can jump off of this, I think you're going to make a great doctor copter. I just made that word up. 
Okay, let's give it a try. I'm gonna stand on top, and parents, we're gonna encourage them to land on their two feet just like this, but they might not be there just yet. You know, some of these guys might still be getting the courage, but doing that really big step. So what I like to do is to give them a little encouragement. This is my doctor uh, partner over here, Mr. Bear. What we're gonna do, I'm not even going to hold hands, I'm just gonna stand, sit up. All right, I'm gonna stand in front and just hold my hands out. They're more likely to start to take that big jump into your arms if you're there to guide them through it. And even if you do hold their hands for the first few, way, that's a great step too, high five, woo. All right, you stay there. This is gonna get a little bit trickier. Do you guys remember how to do your donkey kicks? What noise does a donkey make? Yep, I think they go, hoo, 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 ha, ha, ha. No way, that's a monkey. Donkey, we're gonna go, e oh. Do you think you can do your donkey kick up on top of your sofa cushion like that? Watch this, count to three for me. One, two, three, e oh. There we go. Did you guys see that I landed on my feet? Let's try it again. E oh. Wow. And parents, you know, it's actually better to let them try this by themselves. But if they're not copying me, they'll definitely copy you. So why don't you get them on one side, you go on the other. Maybe you even go here so they can see that you're landing on your feet and give them a try. If you do have to help them, start with you facing them and just hold their hips like that. E ah, that's the best way to get those feet back down. Good job, buddy. High five. Hoo -ah. All right it's going to get a little bit crazier because this time I'm jumping out of my helicopter but I need to land on the helicopter landing pad. I don't know what color it's going to be. It could be, what color is that? It could be green, maybe it's yellow and maybe it's blue. Now, you might not have these dots at home, but anything with a strong color like that will do. Sometimes you can even just fold up some t-shirts and put them down, anything that won't slip. But we need to see if we can work on our motor skills and coordination to land on the color. This is great for learning about colors while we're moving. All right, which color should I jump to? Did you say blue? No? All right, let's go green. Here we go. One, two, three, yes. I landed on my two feet. Let's try again. Um, let's look at the yellow one. One, two, three, Whoa. Excellent. Remember parents, the same thing. If they're not jumping by themselves, you just get down there, talk about the color, hold your hands out, ready to help them jump. Now, here's where it gets really tricky. I'm gonna do my donkey kick jump out of the helicopter. So I'm gonna get up here on top, okay? I'm gonna put my hands down. What does the donkey say? It, ah, perfect, watch this. Hands down and I'm gonna do my donkey kick jump off the top. It, ah, wow. Let's try that again, I'll show you from the side. Hands down and it, ah. Did you see how I jumped my feet all the way off the top? Parents, this is a great step towards getting them comfortable moving backwards and again, you can spot it exactly the same way. They're up here like this, just use their hips to guide them back. Awesome, high five. Do you guys hear that? I think I'm needed for another job. Good work, everyone. I'll see you later. Let's go, go, go. Get back here, thief. Oh, they've dropped some of the jewels they stole from the jewelry shop. Whoa. Mm. Before I take these back, I've got an idea what we can do with them. At the little gym, I've got these spiky balls as my gems. But you at home can pretend with some cups or even some socks or a spiky hairbrush. I'm going to go get this robber. I'll see you in a second. Get back here, you! Now you've got yourself some jewels at home, I'm going to show you what we can do with them. I'm going to start down low first and simply I can get my little ones at home to start stacking them up. I can get them to sort into different colours, maybe I can count how many are in a pile. It's going to help them develop their mathematics skills, their mental arithmetic. It's even going to get them to start thinking about cause and effect because if it's too high, 
oh, it might fall over. I can then even go on to thinking about balance. I can think about balancing things on my head. Let's see if I can stabilise my whole body and stand up onto my feet. Oh, that's quite tricky. You can even stack them on your head if you're feeling a bit crazy. You can have them stacked on your arms. And if you have it, oh, that's really tricky to stabilise that arm. But imagine if you had them on the other side as well. You're already working on your peripheral vision. There's so many things you can do with these jewels. Now, whoa, let's get onto our feet. If I stand up tall, I can put them in a line and imagine I'm walking across a spiky beam. Whoa. This is giving them loads of sensory input in their feet. Whoa. Not only is it going to work on their balance and their core, whoa, it's also going to help develop all of the muscles in their feet like this. They might, might not like walking on the spiky balls. That's okay. They might want to walk around them at first. They might try and ooh, touch them and decide they don't like it, but that's fine. If you just need to encourage them to walk on it, you can support underneath their armpits like this and just see if they can slowly walk along the top. Thank you, Bunny. Great help. We can spread them out really wide and challenge them to walk over the top as well as step on. Again, working on that balance, seeing if they can woo, figure out how high they have to lift their feet over the top. If they're this wide and they're feeling really, really crazy today, maybe they can even try and jump all the way over the top. Jump. Woo. See if they can go high enough. And I've even got an agility challenge. Maybe we can zigzag all the way through. The more they work on their agility and changing their direction, the more control they're going to have over their body as a whole. Maybe they can weave in and out like this. Whoa. Maybe to work on their bilateral coordination, they can go on their hands and their feet all the way through or even just over the top. Maybe they can say the colours they see all the way along. Green, orange, yellow, purple and even blue. There's so many things you can do at home with your jewels. Isn't that amazing? But I should probably take them back to the jewelry shop now. Oh. Why don't you have a go at home in your own time? See how many things you can try. Woo. Guys, I'm gonna need your help. Now, I know you have a fire hose at home. Maybe you've got a swimming noodle like this, but if you don't, you can use anything. Look. You can even use a wooden spoon or one of these things. So go and get a fire hose and meet me back here. Let's go. Ring, ring, ring the bell. Is that smoke that I smell? You better put on your fire coat and your fire hat. Now grab onto that steering wheel and drive that fire engine fast until we get there. To put out the fire Let's go! Go! Gotta get to the fire! Hurry! Freeze! We're here at the fire! Now grab the hose and squirt the fire Squirt down low and a little bit higher We gotta squirt out all the flames That's what I said Look, there's one little flame that's running away. Chase after it and continue to spray! Get it! Stop! That little flame is at your feet. Stomp it out with a one, two, three! Yippee! You put that fire out, pat yourself on the back. Give a little shout, hip hip hooray! Now it's back to the station and go to bed. Good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. <laughs> Good night, Chief. Hey, who's snoring? Good night, Chief. Do sleep well. Good night, Chief.
Ring, ring, ring the bell Is that smoke that I smell You better put on your fire coat And your fire hat Now grab onto that steering wheel And drive that fire engine fast Until we get there To put out the fire Let's go! We're here at the fire. Quick, grab your axe so we can chop down the door to get in the house and save the cats and dogs trapped inside. Now chop the door down with your axe. We gotta get inside to save the cats and dogs from the fire. Stop! We made it in the house. There's dogs and cats all about. Run in a circle to chase them out. Go! Stop! We did it! Yippee! We got those animals out. Pat yourself on the back. Give a little shout. Hip hip hooray! Now it's back to the station and go to bed. Good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. <laughs> oh, good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. Oh, wondrous Chief. Good night, Chief. Ring, ring, ring the bell, is that smoke that I smell? You better put on your fire coat and your fire hat. Now grab onto that steering wheel and drive that fire engine fast until we get there to put out the fire. Let's go! We're here at the fire. Quick, everyone, start climbing the ladder. You gotta climb the ladder way up high. Those flames are shooting toward the sky. Climb the ladder and squirt the water at the same time. Freeze! Oh no, the ladder's on fire too. I think we're done for. I think we're through. I think we all better scream. <laughs> we'll have to make a jump for it. Try to land in the safety net. On the count of three, let's go for it. One, two, three, jump. <laughs> I hurt my little bum. We landed safely on our rear. Pat yourself on the back. Give a little cheer. Hip, hip, hooray! Now it's back to the station and go to bed. Good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. Good night, Chief. We'll yes. see you in the morning. Now we've pretended to be firefighters, I'm going to teach you guys a new song I learned about firefighters. Are you ready? Five little firefighters standing in a row. One, two, three, four, five, they go. Up in the engine with a shout. Quick! As a wink, the fire is out. Oh, there's four now. Are you ready? Four little firefighters standing in a row. One, two, three, four. They go up in the engine with a shout. Quick as a wink, the fire is out. Three left. Three little firefighters standing in a row. One, two, three. They go up in the engine with a shout. Quick as a wink, the fire is out. Two little firefighters standing in a row. One, two.
there you go up in the engine with a shout quick as a wink the fire is out <gasps> there's only one left one little firefighter standing in a row one there you go up in the engine with a shout quick as a wink the fire is out Woo! well done firefighters We've had such fun today, but there is a real message to today's episode. From everyone at the Little Gym, we just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has kept us safe over the last few months. All the everyday heroes and the frontline workers. Sadly, we couldn't fit everyone in this episode, so we just want to do an extra big thank you to all of those teachers, to the delivery drivers, to the people working in supermarkets. We just want to make this one for you, okay? Thank you very much, everybody. This has been the Little Gym at Home. Bye. It's time to say